back to my channel. I'm here to do a flip of my Louis Vuitton Epi Leather in the size MM. Um, this is, uh, MM is the other name for personal or medium size inserts. Um, and I don't know if you saw my previous video. Um, I unboxed a Giulio Medium XL Campania in the color gold and I wanted to move in as soon as possible, so I decided to at least document my setup in this Louis Vuitton planner just because I'm so in love with it. I really just, it helped me fall in love with personal size. I found my little groove, if you will. I found like, um, I figured out what I liked and what worked for me planner-wise, and I'm just, so happy with this planner and so um why don't we go ahead and get started i like showing off the top and the sides and the bottom just to see um, and show everyone how chunky it is it's obviously not that chunky because um those rings are only 25 millimeter i believe um which for me is perfect i i like a chunky planner but I don't like having it too chunky to the point where I just don't end up using a lot of the inserts inside or um, I start to feel a little overwhelmed if there's just too much decoration in here. I like my planners to be, you know, both beautiful and functional, so can't have too much going on. So why don't we get started? Um, at the very top, I made these task cards. Obviously, they're inspired by Maggie Plans. I just made my own. This is my um, card that I, I basically just put words or phrases that I use most often. So I'm always cleaning my room or the house. Um, I'm always having planner time. Um, I always have a lash appointment every two to three weeks. And I'm always having, I always have an AM and PM routine on my um, work days. And I believe the page flags are from cloth and paper. I think these look like the ones in Sorbet. And then this is my um, like self-care um, uh, task card. So it basically has all the things I do in my skincare routine um, and it's in order. So my first step is to cleanse um, or double cleanse if I need to. Um, tone, moisturize, use any serums that I have like for the day or night time and then any masks, especially at night time. Okay, next, um, this one is just a random um, tag from a shirt that I bought. The brand is Open Edit and I just liked the color and the fun of it. Um, and I sometimes I think tags are just so cute that I don't like to throw them away. So I thought this one I can just keep it as deco in my planner. And then these two, I believe, this one and this one are from Lindsay's Instagram, a set plans. They're her freebies in the journaling card link that she has in her planner. I mean, her planner account. So check it out. I love the vibe. And then... These three, I believe, are from Floor Pepetry. Pepetry. They're from Maria Plans, um, basically, and I love the colors and just the designs overall. They're just so pretty. Um, and then this is just a little card I got when I purchased my first Le Labo candle. Um, I like the color, just the um, like aesthetic look and the little stamp here. So it's just something that I always wanna carry around with me. Okay, so this dashboard is from Hedge Sandra. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but again, I'll put um, her profile um, down below. This is just another freebie dashboard that I downloaded. Um, it, stuck to a dashboard that was in front of it. That's why it got a little messed up here, but I just got too lazy to replace it. Um, so my dividers I made myself. I just used Canva um, and I bought linen paper. I don't know if you could see the linen um, 
texture and then I laminated it and I've got um, three in the front and three in the back inbox agenda keep track is for my trackers and we've got projects wellness and notes and I'll go over all a bit later but yeah I like the simple look of my dividers and I don't I like how they don't stick out too much either so these sticky notes are a collaboration well the sticky note itself those are from cloth and paper but the print um, the bills to pay and the to buy those are from a collaboration from paper test designs and planning with all um, I put down all the bills that I have to pay but I just I didn't put like um, if they were paid already just because I like to keep it at the front as a reminder um, so I don't have to keep um, checking it off ripping it off and printing a new one um, I'm currently renovating my room so I had to buy I basically had to set up a new closet system and these were all the things that I needed to purchase to set it up um, and then just a random list and car maintenance inserts at the bottom and then I placed these sticky notes over an inbox dashboard that I made just because I don't know I just felt like making one um, I've been in a really creative mindset lately I just put flower or leaves the top and bottom and then on the other side I put outbox so um, this is a birthdays insert I made this myself um, I've had this ever since I started planning um, it's just um, an insert of all the birthdays that I need to keep track of um, when I plan out the month so for example at the beginning of a new month um, sorry, just flashing in my <laughs> planner. Um, at the beginning of a month, I will go back to this insert, look at the um, month, for example, March, and then I'll fill in all the birthdays, so the 21st, 27th, and 28th. And then I also printed it on a green, almost like a linen, there you could see it, like a linen paper and I made this dashboard too. I just printed it on the back so it's not empty. This is um, another paper test designs and planning with Allo collaboration. It's like their list inserts, but I just um, used it as like, again, like another inbox um, check off list that I have to do. And I'm very proud of it because I've been making progress. Um, there's actually a few things that I were already done. I just have yet to check it off. Um, let's see, next is my agenda. So the agenda part of the agenda um, tab is the thickest part of my planner. There's just so many. And again, I really wanted to film um, like a flip through just so I can like get rid of all these inserts. I've had all of these inserts since July, which is when I started planning in personal size. So. Uh, I have a lot of inserts in here. Um, so going back, this is a freebie year at a glance from Neutral Minimal Co, I believe. And then on the back, um, it's another um, year at a glance. Oh shoot, this one, I don't remember where I got it from, but I'm gonna find the name and put it down below. Um, and then all of my monthly inserts are from Infinite Lotus. It's like a month. I consider it a month on one page. Um, I like having, um, or better yet, I don't like having the month on two page just because I, I don't know how to write in a month on two page. Just my writing is just so ugly. And but if I have a month on one page like this style, it's perfect. It's beautiful. It's organized. I don't have to like look left and right. I can just focus on one page, especially if I'm going in my weekly and like looking back and forth it's just easier for me and it gives me a good excuse to use stickers <laughs> yeah so um july august most of my stickers are from paper replanning or paper panda this is a monthly half insert from cloth and paper i don't have a monthly weekly or daily like bottom tab yet but for now I just um I just tabbed my month 
week and day with these um, sticky tabs for now. Um, I haven't planned October yet and I'm filming this on like the 5th, but a lot has been going on in my life, so it's okay. Um, oh, and another reason why I like using the Infinite Lotus inserts is because um, on, on the back part of the insert, I can um, put sticky notes here to remind myself of any appointments that I might have. Um, and then just a disclaimer, you're gonna see I use a lot of EO edits, um, dashboards and inserts just because I love her, her style and her designs. I just think it's all amazing. Um, if I had to like pinpoint my favorite style, it would probably be hers. So dashboards from EO edits, more EO edits. Um, if they're not dashboards, then they came from like a, a weekly printable insert. Um, these are sticky notes from cloth and paper. They came in like a pack and I just thought like green is like my favorite color and I thought um, there's circular designs here so I just thought I'd add that in there. Um, another sticky note from cloth and paper on um, top of a EO edits dashboard. Cloth and paper weekly um, half insert. And then more EO edits. These are now my weekly inserts. And again, most of these stickers are from Papery Planning. Sticky note is from cloth and paper. This is like one of my favorite inserts because I'm the most productive with this. I don't know why, I, I don't know. <laughs> but um, it also like, I love that it helps me keep track of water intake because um, I am, I'm on medication that makes me really dehydrated. So, and I'm also terrible at reminding myself to drink water, especially at work when you don't have time to to sit down and just drink water unless it's your lunch break. Um, okay, so this is a weekly insert from Ginny. Her shop is My Minimal Planner. Um, love it so much. I got inspired by the uh, three-point planning system. Um, more EO edits, inserts. Again, one of my favorites. Another uh, My Minimal Planner insert. Um, this one is from um, Paper Test Designs, and I believe it's a collaboration with um, Planning with Allo. Yeah, it is. Um, I really, really enjoy a week on one page now and then, just because uh, sometimes week on two page can be a lot, having to write back and forth, but I love all of them. And then this is on the back. So the reason, these are actually um, pieces of sticky paper, um, sticker paper and I messed, I didn't plan on using it. I wrote camping and I spelled it wrong and I got so upset. So I just covered it um, with a sticker paper and I wrote camping on it and I just thought I would do the rest the same way. Um, let's see. More EO edits, weekly inserts, surprise, surprise. More of Ginny's weekly inserts. Um, this is a weekly insert from Alibi Designs. I just recently started using her inserts and I love it because it's a week on one page. I was so productive this week. Like I did everything that I wanted to do. I got um, all the groceries that I needed. I even had a day of self-care, but this was also a very, um, a very uh, sad week because uh, we had a death in the family. Um, so that was very unfortunate. Um, by the way, this insert is from Rosie Papetri. Pe I, I know I'm butchering that. I'm, I'm really sorry, but love your inserts. Um, the stickers are from, again, um, this is Paper Panda, more paper replanning. And then this is, I believe, Simple and Trendy Co. Week on one page. And then this, Okay, so this is just a piece of acetate um, that I cut down to personal size. And the reason I did that is because I printed this. It's a freebie from Sammy's Planner. And I, I knew for a fact that the black ink was going to rub off on whatever um, insert or dashboard was on this side. So that's why I have a piece of acetate here to prevent the ink from rubbing off. This is a freebie from Demi Rose Plans. Um, I printed it out 
um, with the, this is a Halloween dashboard. I just put them together because I, I just love them together. Um, and it's prep, prepping me for like the October vibe, holidays and Halloween. So again, because there was a passing in my family, I, I still plan and I'm still like really happy using my planner. It's just, I haven't really had the energy or the time to um, print new inserts like from you know edits or Ginny's shop or whatever so um, I do plan on using the cloth and paper um, inserts that they include in their monthly sub box this is from their October sub box so um, I don't always use their inserts but in this case I'm really glad that they included it because I just don't have time to print my own inserts right now um, again this is a daily half insert from cloth and paper and um, these are the daily inserts from the planning paper sorry paper test designs and planning with Olo collab i don't use daily inserts that often it's actually very rare and that's why i only have like four pages or two if you will um, just in case i really need to use them or i have an, a craving to use it but um, when it comes to daily planning, I have um, an A6 notebook that I can share in another video. Um, it's basically like my scrap paper brain dump notebook. Um, again, this is Paper Test Designs um, sticky note with the physical sticky note is also again from cloth and paper. Um, let's see, cloth and paper dashboard. And I love how they're including a backside to their dashboards. I think that was a huge complaint with the planner community. It's that um, a lot of the dashboards from anyone really, they were coming in with just the front side and they wanted a decor like a dashboard on the back side too, so it doesn't look like plain like this. So we basically want our planners to look pretty on the front and the back. <laughs> um, gift lists. Oh my gosh, these are from Alibi Designs, I believe. I think it's from Alibi Designs. Um, I really, really, this is like a staple insert in every planner that I have because to me, like I use it mainly for birthdays and Christmas shopping, um, which basically happens all year round. I'm always thinking of ideas of what to buy for my friends and family. Um, and when I do think of it, like, sometimes I'll forget, like, oh my gosh, like, I thought of a great gift to give them, but I forgot what it was. So this now helps me keep track of gifts. And I really hope they're not watching <laughs> this video right now, because they just, some of them probably saw what I'm going to give them. So vehicle maintenance, um, this insert, and the health insert behind it is from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I wanted to keep track of all the um, appointments that I that I make for my car, like when was the last oil change, even though I, I don't own a gasoline powered car anymore. Um, so, but it's still good to keep track of all the things you do with your car so you know when was the last time you did it. Um, health log, this was also very important for me, um, again, because I'm starting on some new medication and um, things are happening with me, so I, I need to now be able to start logging all of my appointments and just things that happen. Um, let's see, oh, also I would like to be able to record like my flu shots um, or my especially my eye appointments those are so every time I go in to my eye doctor they always ask me when was the last time you had your eye appointment and I look at them just like I, I'm sorry like I have no idea and it's probably because it's been years and I've been terrible at um, keeping up to date with my optometrist but that's gonna change now okay so this is like a three-part dashboard this clear um acetate i uh, um well it's like a printable from floor papetry papetry um it was i believe part of her um patreon that i subscribed to 
and then I layered it on top of an EO Edits dashboard, which is green. And then I um, believe, I can't remember where this freebie was from. Um, and then this is just a random gold triangle clip that I got a long time ago. Um, EO Edits dashboard, um, Unoya by Designs um, monthly habit tracker. I've been really good um, tracking for August and September. I'm a little late for October because I, I haven't even printed a new one yet for the month, but I will because I'm just going to backtrack and catch up with all my planning. And let's see. Another paper test designs planning with Olo. Um, sticky note. More sticky notes. <laughs> Cloth and paper dashboard. Front and back, which is great. And I paired it with a dashboard that I made. This is a picture that I took in Los Angeles. I just put a random um, phrase here. Um, so this, I paired it with on the back, a mood board that I made with just my favorite colors um, and just favorite things that I was interested in at the time. And then I have another staple in every planner that I have, uh, projects inserts. These are from Infinite Lotus. Um, I always have to have a projects insert because I'm always working on something, whether it's like, like a new planner that um, I want to make or my friend's bachelorette. What else? Um, now that our family member died, I'll probably use another projects insert just to help plan for the wedding, um, for the funeral, I mean. Um, notes pages from Infinite Lotus. Um, my planner friend Alicia, I want to give her a little gift because um, she gave me a gift a long, long time ago, so this is super overdue. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, again, I like I mentioned, I'm renovating my room, so um, that's another project. And um, I just listed out things that I have to do eventually. Um, Cloth and paper dashboard. I really liked this one um, because it reminded me of like the renovation that we're doing, especially because it had the word space on it. And so I bought the cloth and paper like um, renovation inserts um, just because I thought it was very fitting. Uh, oh, it's called their home refresh and renovation insert. Um, I thought it was really fitting. It helps me keep track of what we need to do, all the things I need to buy, and the types of decorations I want. And then this was like the most helpful insert in the package. Um, it's like a space layout and planning insert. And basically, um, I had to measure out the shelves in my, in my closet. And um, it's a good thing I have this insert because the shelves are actually not gonna be even so I had to figure out like um, where if, if it has to be uneven where is it going to be uneven and we decided it's gonna be um, a little wider at the top um, I'm still it's still a work in progress like this mood board I don't know I'm not quite happy with it but um, I just started throwing in stickers, but now that I look at it, it's kind of like, not really, that is so not how I want my room to look like. Um, let's see. And it comes with a lot of these inserts, so um, you could use it to renovate, or you could use it to help you plan a renovation for your whole home if you wanted to. Um, so going into my wellness tab, this one um, is like what it is, like wellness. Um, as we go into it, I have um, things like my financial trackers. Um, and I, the reason I put my finance under wellness and not under keep track was because to me, finance, um, you know, there's such a thing as like financial well being. So I just figured it could go in here plus I have more than enough things under my keep track tab anyway so I'm um, going back these are more paper test designs um, sticky note designs um, I really liked um, this saying and that's exactly why it went under my wellness tab and 
This clear um, cover is from Cat Espresso Co. Um, more paper test designs, sticky notes. You can just assume that every sticky note in here is from paper test designs. <laughs> EU Edits dashboard. And then we now go into my expenses, which is um, these inserts are from, uh, I believe, Simple and Trendy Co. Um, I just love this design um, because it you can um, use these abbreviations if you used cash, uh, your debit, credit card, or other means of payment. Um, uh, let's see. I ordered a Chilio, as you can see. Um, these are orders. And then sinking funds. These are from Alibi Designs. I, I have always had some sort of sinking funds insert. It's just I stopped for a while because I just got busy with school and I didn't really... Um, there was a time when I just wasn't uh, purchasing planner related stuff or just buying anything for myself except food, which I didn't really need a sinking fund for because I cooked a lot of the time. So I'm going to end up starting and getting back into this. Um, maybe this can be like a whole other video, but um, they're from uh, Alibi Designs. My bills tracker, this inserts from Infinite Lotus, another EO Edits dashboard, um, EO Edits, EO Edits. <laughs> Um, see an ideal week and then like my evening or like my morning work day evening and weekend rituals um, I'm just like reviewing it just to like remind myself this is what you usually do especially if it's like quality time or self-care because um, a lot of the times my mind is always like go 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 like it's always about work um, goals. I always like to have like a goals insert in every planner of mine. I really liked this one because it made me think outside of the box. Um, it made me look forward to the next year. And finally, just the notes inserts, um, dashboards from Clock and Paper. Um, my routine, I kind of just broke it down and um, what I do in a day. Um, I should probably go in my wellness section, but I just put it um, back here. Um, my planner wish list, which you can see it's getting checked off one by one. <laughs> and then um, my boyfriend randomly listed a bunch of jerseys that he likes and it's so hard for me to remember the types of jerseys so I finally wrote them down. Um, maybe eventually I'll buy him one. <laughs> and a uh, clock and paper dashboard at the very end. I just ordered a page lifter from Poi and Han. Um, I really need one because as you can see like my the last insert always gets damaged and I don't want the leather to get damaged either so I think a page lifter is like really important to have um, especially for um, a planner in every planner that you have and that's pretty much it in the back of my planner I just store I don't even know what's in here this is a daily that I ripped out from a cloth and paper notepad. I just, I was so proud of how it looked. Um, the stickers are from Papery Planning. I just thought it was so cute that I didn't want to throw it away. Again, another paper test designs um, sticky note design, but I didn't put it on a sticky note. I just printed it out on like regular paper. These are, um, these are different planner sizes, which I do reference every now and then. Um, and these papers are, Again, like I needed to do a lot of um, blueprints for the for my closet because the sizing was a bit of an issue, but so I figured out now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is my whole planner. She's got a little bit of chunk to it, but I think it's perfect. My planner closes perfectly. It's not too heavy. Not too light either and i'm overall happy about it so if there's anything that i missed or if you have any questions or comments you can feel free to ask me don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching my video and i'll see you in the next one bye